everybody, my name is Quicken and I'm an alternative lifestyle content creator in the YouTube and Twitch space. My space on the internet, uh, my vertical is lifestyle and having a lifestyle channel, I get to talk about my lifestyle and tattoos are just a big part of that. The journey of being tattooed is is that, it's a journey. So, you know, instead of having a diary, I have a YouTube channel and I can document, you know, things I'm excited about. And then at the same time, like a diary, I can talk about regret and things that I found were tough. I started my YouTube channel I, like absolutely on accident. I was online and I felt like I was presenting myself in a way where people were open to asking me questions. So I found myself, you know, blogging and answering the same questions all the time. So I started to film myself answering the questions. And it was really early on. I think my first YouTube video is from 2011. I would answer these questions and I used to have an iPod touch and there used to be a button on there that would send the video to YouTube like from your photo gallery so I was just dumping them on this YouTube channel like not even with thumbnails or descriptions or anything I was just sending them there and then one day YouTube reached out to me and they said you've accumulated all these views like we'd like to invite you into the partnership program and that was a, a long time ago after that um, I kept doing it. People would ask me questions and it was a great place to just put that answer for anyone who needed it. And then it became, yeah, helpful, which is nice. It's a large responsibility that you almost don't know you're signing up for until you start getting that first little bit of feedback. Until you get the first message that was like, I listened to your advice, you kind of don't know that you are giving advice that people would listen to. I think we've all experienced unsolicited advice on the internet. So the first time someone was like, I listened to you and I acted on it, you're like, wow. So the first time somebody, you know, watched one of my videos and was able to make an appointment with a tattoo artist because they watched my video on like how to make a checklist. And then, you know, the first couple people messaged me and they were like, hey, I, I started to get tattoo removal because your videos explain it so well. I was like, cool, I uh, have a lot of power. But it's cool, I, uh, I didn't know what that would feel like until I started getting the feedback. It began early on and I had no idea what I was doing. I just wanted a tattoo. My first tattoo, I was 16. I got, you know, my mom took me and signed the paperwork and it was, you know, a long time ago. So we went to a walk-in street shop. I just wanted a tattoo and that's how it all started. So it wasn't something very significant to me. I got a tattoo of two manatees. They were on my shoulder blade, which was a very popular, like 90s location to get a tattoo as well. So, you know, my mom took me, so she was like, that'll look good. So the shoulder blade tattoo, I didn't really like, and I wanted a full back piece like in the center. So I had that removed for, you know, cohesion, just to make everything look good. When I went to Allentown, I did message him beforehand and I was like, low key, I'm a little bit of a YouTuber. And, you know, I've been met with mixed reactions in that space, but Mike was really eager and I was met with a ton of hospitality and professionalism and I'm someone who really appreciates that and takes that with me and I couldn't wait. You know, someone recommended him to me and I couldn't wait to do the same. Tattoo removal feels pretty uncomfortable. What, I'll, what I usually say is it's a lot faster than a tattoo. So tattooing hurts, then you get into a groove, and then after a while you're like, I gotta do something else. Tattoo removal happens so fast. When I lay down and get my back tattooed, I'm just looking at the floor and I'm like, when is this over, I'm bored. Like, that's what hurts the most. Tattoo removal is like 90 seconds. And I'm like, okay, I think I can get through 90 seconds. I get so scared right before my appointment that I think I make it, I build it up, and it ends up not hurting as much as my build up.
when I first got tattoo removal um, a couple years ago, I almost went on the defense, almost like to my previous punk self, like I can't believe you're getting these removed. I you know, did all this work so you could be tattooed or whatever. And I was also feeling defensive at the culture at large. I am a person online, so I receive much more feedback than a regular person. So often I'm on the defense for that as well. The first time I had tattoo removal with Mike, um, almost five years ago, the feedback was mixed. Now I feel like the feedback is super positive. I think the community is like, be your best self, body positivity, do what you want to do, do what you think is best for yourself, and that is really, really cool. People were like, if, that ta if you don't like that tattoo, if it doesn't spark joy, get rid of it. And I was like, we're here, we made it. So I have a tattoo on my hip. It was one of my first tattoos when I was 18. My friend was going away, and we were like, let's all get tattoos. So I was kind of sentimental about the tattoo, and it's also hardly ever seen. It's like underneath my clothes. So even though I grew out of that style, and I also don't really like the tattoo, I was like, you know, it's no one sees it. It's another tattoo for your collection. Then recently, you know, as you know, body positivity and the culture around tattoo removal has changed and become more positive. I really just didn't want to keep a tattoo I didn't love. A tattoo is something like you can ignore and live with or like ask yourself to learn to love it. But I don't think that's really great to live with something that I don't love. And because I have Mike in my arsenal, I was like, the answer is so obvious. Like, let's get it removed. Hey everybody, my name is Quicken and I am an alternative lifestyle content creator in the YouTube and Twitch space.